Hello everyone, today we're going to study page 40 and 41. The title of the lesson is the Tulsa Time Capsule. It's at page 40 and 41. Okay. First, I want you to read the title. Read the title carefully. The Tulsa Time Capsule. I want, I want you to look at the two pictures. And what is the difference between the two pictures? Who can answer? What's the difference between the two pictures? What's the difference between them? Who can answer? Raise your hand. If you want to answer, raise your hand. What's the difference between the two pictures? Okay, Muhammad Asiri. You can answer, Muhammad. Let me write your name. Muhammad Asiri. Okay, Muhammad Asiri. What's the difference between the two pictures? The right one is all rusty and old, and the left one is in maintains when it was produced like 20 or 30 years ago, or maybe 40. Thank you a lot. You have been great. You are always great, Muhammad Asiri. I really admire you, Muhammad Asiri. Uh, as Muhammad Asiri said, meaning that the first, this or this picture is, uh, this car is old, and this one is new one is a new one that's right uh, i want you to look at the title here the tulsa time capsule what's the meaning of capsule do you know the meaning of capsule guys who can tell us the meaning of capsule okay if you want you can raise your hand hmm. okay I, mohammed let's see it again you can answer no teacher, uh, okay. Uh, but I want you to ask what the meaning of capsule. Do you know the meaning of capsule? Hmm. Who can answer? What the meaning of capsule, guys? What the meaning of capsule? Try to Google it, try to find the meaning of capsule. Search it now. Search for the meaning of capsule now, guys. Okay, Abdul Ilah Al-Asiri. Abdul Ilah Al-Asiri. Oh, it's a capsule, it's sad, right? Yeah. And what else? Uh, That's right. I don't know. Okay. Try to find it in Google. Search for it. Search for it, guys. What the meaning of capsule? Okay, guys, um, capsule, it means a bag, a box, uh, something like that. So the, the Tulsa time capsule, capsule here uh, means a box or a bag. Okay, let's move to another slide. Here I want you to scan, to scan the text. Scan the text to find the answers for the following questions. I want you to scan quickly. Scan it means to find out something or search for something, but quickly. Scan uh, the scan the text to find the answers for the following questions. Read the text. Match a heading to each paragraph. So these are headings. These are headings, or you can say that uh, they uh, these are titles. I want you to give each paragraph a suitable title to give each paragraph a suitable title. For example, this paragraph, a crowd of people gathered outside the courthouse in Tulsa, uh, Oklahoma in June 1957 to witness the period of the period of an unusual time capsule, okay? So in your opinion, in your opinion, what is the suitable title for this paragraph? What is the suitable title or the suitable heading for this paragraph? Is it what the car contained? Is, is this paragraph talking about what the car contained or the peril of a car? Peril of a car? Mm, maybe this paragraph is talking about the peril of a paragraph. 50 years, 50 years later, 50 years later, or they lived to see it. Everyone came to the event. 
what is the suitable title for this paragraph? I want you to choose one from these headings. Okay, let me help you first. To find out the suitable paragraph or the suitable heading for a paragraph, okay, you have to read the first and the second line, okay? In the first and the second line, you can usually find the, uh, the main idea. The main idea, it's sometimes the uh, title of the paragraph, okay? So here, a crowd of people gathered outside the courthouse in Tulsa, Oklahoma in June 1957. Why? To witness the peel of an unusual time capsule. So the suitable title for this paragraph is, is what? Is what guys? What is the suitable title? Who can answer? Hmm. Who can answer guys? Raise your hand. Who wants to get five marks? Okay, Abdullah, let's say it again. You can answer Abdullah. Uh, by the way, you can help each other, okay? You can help each other in the chat, it doesn't matter. What is the suitable title for this paragraph? Hmm. Ask yourself, if this is this paragraph talking about what the car contained, is it talking about the peril of a car or is, is it talking about 50 years later and so on? Hmm. Okay. Mm, Faisal Abdullah, okay, I want Faisal. You can answer Faisal, here you are. Uh, so the 50 years later. Okay, maybe, maybe. But I, want, I wanted to ask you a question, Faisal. 50 years later, or 50 years later. Where is it in line number one and line number two? Is it here? Is it here? Hmm? Can you see it? Okay, Mohammed Al-Asiri. Hmm. What is the suitable, the suitable title for this paragraph? Plymouth Company. Which one? Plymouth Company. Oh. I, uh, from these. Uh, for him, these titles. Okay, you can think. Take your time. Mm. Who can answer, guys? What is the suitable, the suitable title? Hi, uh, Tham. Can I answer? What's your name? Muhammad Al Asiri. Okay, Muhammad. Here you are. It's your turn. What the car contained? What the car contained? Okay, can you tell us what the car contained? Is this paragraph talking about? What the car contain? Brand new gold and white Plymouth. Proud the car city leaders combined. Oh, la everyone came to the event. Everyone, everyone came. came. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mohammed Lassiri. Read the first line and the second line. And you will A get. A crowd of people gathered outside the courthouse in Tulsa, okay. Al Kami, in June okay. 1957 yeah. to witness. Okay. The wait, 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 Mohammed, wait. They gathered to what? Huh? Complete? To witness. To witness what? The peel of the unusual time the capsule. The peel of the what? Family. The peel of unusual time capsule. Time so this, paragra the, this paragraph is talking about, is talking about what? Hmm? The peel of an unusual time capsule. So what is the best title for this paragraph? Okay, what is the, the best title? It's a very easy, guys. I want you to think. Be okay, Faisal. Yeah. Faisal, you can answer. So, so the, the burial of uh, a car. That's right. You are great. The burial of a car. Why the burial of a car is the best title for this paragraph? Because the first line and the second line Okay, are talking about that. 
mainly in the uh, in the second paragraph read read the second paragraph a crowd of people gathered outside the courthouse in Tulsa Oklahoma why in when in June 1957 why to witness to witness the peel of a unusual time capsule so this is the main idea and this is the best title for this paragraph okay guys this is how to get the title or the main idea or how to get the best heading for a paragraph how can you do that you have to read the first and the second line okay let's do the same thing with the uh, other paragraphs here paragraph number two read the first line read the second line okay also you can read the third line quickly and tell me what is the best title for this paragraph what is the best heading what is the main idea okay who can the automobile contained 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 the contained what contained it means include contained it means um it has inside okay it mean contained contained it means to have something yeah khalid al-gharawi khalid uh hello what is the best title for this what? paragraph hey yes sir read it huh what what the the car connected can again contain Ca can contain contained contained it means it can uh, contains contained it means included okay so who can tell us why what the car contained is the best title for this paragraph why 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 is it the best title why because what the automobile yeah because the automobile contained contained what contained flag, a, flag. Mm, a city phone mm, directory and a paid parking yeah that's right that's great Yeah, go on. And the con content and contentis of contents contentis of a women's of, birth, of, of, Bobby Ben and ladies powder. Uh, Listen to me. Uh, come back. A plastic red cup. Mm, and uh, and uh, blah 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 and so on. For okay, that's right. Yeah. So because this paragraph is talking about what. Uh, the automobile contained uh, so the best title is what the car contained is the best heating or the best title or the best main idea for this paragraph that's how to get the main idea of a paragraph or of a topic uh, you have to read the first and second um, the first line and the second line to get the main idea or the title or you can say the heating okay let's move to another paragraph paragraph number three the event attracted all through all sorts of people the event attracted all sorts of people okay what is the suitable title for this paragraph We have three headings here. We have the first heading or the first title, 50 years later. Uh, second uh, title is They Lived to See It. The third one, Everyone Came to the Event. Which one is suitable for this paragraph? To know the, to know the correct answer or to know the suitable heading, you have to read the first line. And the second one. Okay. Turkey Gahtani, you're welcome, Turkey. Turkey Gahtani. Hello, hello, Okay, you're welcome. 
You are a good boy, huh? Thank you. Uh, yes, sir. Everyone come to the uh, event. Everyone came to oh. the event is okay. the, yeah, that's right. Everyone came to the event is the suitable uh, title, or you can say it's the suitable heading for this uh, paragraph. I want to ask you a question. Why everyone came to the event is the suitable or the best title for this paragraph? Why? Because, because of what? Hmm. Because the event uh, and, uh, attracted. attracted all. Yeah, that's right. You are great, Turkey. The event attracted all sorts of people to Denver because all sorts of people, it means everyone. Everyone. Yeah, that's right. You have been great, Turkey. Thank you a lot. Okay. okay. Paragraph number four. Paragraph number four. What is the best title for this paragraph? 50 years later, or they loved to see it. Two participants raised hands. Okay, let me see. Khaled Gharawi. Yeah. Okay, Khaled Gharawi. You can answer. 50 years later. 50 years later is the suitable answer. But I want to ask you a question. But first, let's check the answer. That's right. 50 years later is the suitable title or the suitable heading for this paragraph. Why? Because of what? Lay there for, for 50 years mm. on George. Yeah, that's right. You have been great because in the third line, it lay there for 50 years. This paragraph is talking about the length of time. Okay, so that's right, Khaled Al Gharawi. Let me write your name. You got five marks. Thank you, Khalid. The last one here, the last paragraph. Okay, it's very easy. Who can answer? Who can tell us what is the suitable uh, title or the suitable heading for this paragraph? Okay, I I see two participants want to answer. Khalid Al Gharawi, you have answered. Faisal, you have answered. I want new faces. Okay, Mishal Rashidan, where are you? Muhammad Faisal, where are you? Hey guys, Muhammad Dosri, Muhammad Dosri. Muhammad Dosri, long time no see. Abdul Ilah Al Gahtani, okay. Abdul Rahman Al Mahaya, hmm. Abdul Rahman Al Mahaya, you can answer right now, okay. Abdul Rahman. Suleiman Al Tukhim, you can answer. Al Haytham. Long time no see Haytham. Haytham. Hello, sir. D, sir. Okay. Number five. The good news is that when the Belvedere was unearthed, Teddy and Jean were still alive. Okay. So the best title or the best heading for this paragraph is they loved to see it. Is it right? Right. Okay. So, why? Why it's the best title or the best heading for this paragraph? Can you tell us? Mm -hmm. Who can tell us why? They loved to see it. Hmm. Okay, Faisal, you can answer. Here you are. Faisal, you can answer. Khaled Gharawi, you can answer. Why? Why they loved to see it is the best title or the best heading for this paragraph. Because of what? Hmm. Because... This paragraph is talking about who? Talking about who? Mm. 
about Teddy and Jin. Jin. Yeah, you are great. You are great because the this paragraph is talking about Teddy and Jean. Okay, who were still alive? That's right. Thank you, guys. You have been great. And let's move to another point. Now I want you to read the first paragraph of the article and stop. Read it only. I want you to read the first paragraph only and stop. This is the first paragraph. Okay, read it. Okay, who can read, guys? Hey, Sam. Maybe Haytham isn't here. Who is iPhone D? I don't know this guy. You have to write your name. No, you will not take part with us because you uh, haven't written your name. Abdurrahman Al-Mahaya, Abdul Aziz, Abdullah Al-Gahtani. Abdullah Al-Gahtani, read. Read Abdullah Al-Gahtani. Abdullah al no, no, read. No. Okay, no, read. No, no. Yeah, you're welcome. Read. Read this paragraph um, of the article and stop. Read this. Hmm. Read and we are going to help you. Read. Abdullah al -Gahtani. Read Abdullah Al-Gahtani. Okay, Abdul Ilal Asiri, you can read. Agra Hadi Sad Kamla. Yeah, read it. Read it, yeah. <coughs> A crowd of people gathered outside the courthouse in Tulsa, Tulsa, Oklahoma, in June uh, 1957. Yeah. Witnessed Burial, burial of unusual time capsule. A red, new gold and white uh, mm. mouth. What should we say after Belvedere. Carr, the city leaders Belvedere explained. Car. Yeah, that's right. Belvedere Carr, the city leaders explained in exactly, exactly fifteen years, fifty years time. This car will be uh, unearthed to show the world uh, who we were and how we lived in Tulsa in 1957. Okay, that's right, you are great. Uh, okay, let's see the, the question on uh, this paragraph. The first question is, what was the Tulsa time capsule? What was the Tulsa time capsule? I want you to look at the red line and the answer. What was the, the Tulsa time capsule? Who can answer? What was the Tulsa time capsule? Who can answer, guys? Mansoor Al-Ajami, you can answer. Hamad Dusri, you can answer. Okay. Huh. What was the Tulsa time capsule? Uh, Shashmaha. The period. Uh, the period. Yeah, that's uh, right. The period of an uh, on cell time capsule. And, yeah. The, uh, wait. 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 The period of an unusual time capsule, yeah, huh? Uh, a brand new, mm -hmm. uh, gold and wa uh, white. And white. Uh, okay, that's right. Thank you, thank you a lot. Why did they Welcome. do it? Why did they do it? Who can answer, guys? Why did they do it? Mohammed Dusri, you can answer. Okay. Uh, Mansoor Al Ajami, you can answer. Mansoor Al Ajami, I unmuted you. Hey. Hmm. What? Uh, yeah. Why did they uh, do it? Yeah. Why? Why? Uh, just uh, to, to show the. Uh, to show what? The wallet. We were and uh, we lived in. Tulsa and uh, mm -hmm. 
again please to show the wallet who we were and how we huh? I think you I think you have a problem I think I think there is a problem with your mobile phone or cell phone um Faisal Abdullah you can answer Faisal so, yeah you can answer job. yeah mm. Show so the word how hmm. we were and how is, we lived until uh. 1970. Raise your voice. Yeah, and raise your voice. How we, how we were, how we were, and how we lived in Tesla in 90s and 1970. Okay, but listen to me to show the wallet who, not how, who we were. And how we lived in Tulsa in 1957. This is the, the answer. That's right, guys. Listen to me, guys, carefully. Note. Note. The newspaper articles are typically organized like this one. This is a newspaper uh, article. Typically organized like this one. The main ideas of the entire article are summarized in the first paragraph. The rest of the article provided more details. So you can get the main idea of any newspaper articles from the first paragraph. Okay, guys? Okay, let's move to another point. I want you now to listen and follow along in your box. Okay? Listen and follow along in your box. Listen carefully, guys. You are going to listen to the text. Listen and follow along in your box. The Tulsa time capsule. A crowd of people gathered outside the courthouse in Tulsa, Oklahoma in June 1957 to witness the burial of an unusual time capsule. A brand new golden white Plymouth Belvedere car. The city leaders explained, in exactly 50 years time, this car will be unearthed to show the world who we were and how we lived in Tulsa in 1957. The automobile contained a flag, a city phone directory, an unpaid parking ticket, and the contents of a woman's purse, bobby pins, a lady's powder compact, a plastic rain cap, several combs, a tube of lipstick, a pack of gum, a wad of tissues, $2.73 in bills and coins. Five gallons of gas were also included in case the combustion engine became obsolete by 2007 and no fuel was available. The event attracted all sorts of people to Denver Avenue that day in 1957. Some thought that the idea of burying a new car was dumb, Others thought it was brilliant. Raffle tickets for the car were sold. The person to guess the approximate population of Tulsa in 2007 would win. I'll never be alive, said Teddy Baxter, aged six. Sure you will, answered his brother Henry, who was 19. I might not be, but you'll be around for sure. Gene McDaniel, who was 20 at the time, thought, in 2007, I'll be 70. I'll never make it. The Plymouth was wrapped in protective materials and lowered into a concrete vault, which was supposed to withstand even a nuclear attack. It lay there for 50 years. On June 13th, 2007, the vault was opened and the car was raised as thousands of people watched. The organizer of the event said, ladies and gentlemen, I present you Miss Belvedere. Unfortunately, the tomb was unable to protect the car from moisture and the vintage vehicle was covered in rust. The contents of a typical woman's handbag in the glove compartment looked like a lump of rotted leather. The microfilm that recorded the names of the contestants wasn't found. There was a bit of disappointment that the items were not in better condition. However, some items inside the time capsule were in good shape. They included a U.S. flag and some historical documents, such as aerial maps of the city and postcards. The good news is that when the Belvedere was unearthed, Teddy and Jean were still alive. They never thought they would be here to see it happen. 
Someone present said, It's our King Tut's tomb. It's like a fairy tale. Okay, thank you guys. After you have listened to the um, audio, I want you to answer these questions. Choose the correct meaning of each word. The first one is to gather. To gather. What's the meaning of to gather? To come together, to separate, or to join? Okay, Mohammed Dusri, you can answer. Mohammed Dusri and Mansur Al Ajami, who can answer, guys? Hello? To come together. together. Yeah, oh, that's, I that's right. To gather, it means to come together. To witness. Oh, What's the meaning of to witness? To witness. Witness. What's the uh, meaning of witness? To give uh, evidence. Evidence? To give evidence? Hey. Who else, guys? Who can answer? Hey. To see an event. Okay, that's right. To witness, it means to see an event. To see an event, to see an accident, to see something which is happening in front of your eyes. Bobby pin, what's the meaning of poppy bin? Pin worn by boys, safety bin, or hair bin. Okay. Uh, Khalid Al Gharawi. Khalid Al Gharawi, I want you to answer. Okay. Hmm. I unmuted you. What the meaning of Bobby Ben in your in your opinion? What the meaning of it? Ben Ben worn by boy by boys. By boys. Okay, let's check your answer. Bobby bin, it means hair bin, hair bin. Women use, uh, women use this uh, hair pins. Absolute, what's the meaning of absolute? Absolute, what's the meaning of it? What's the meaning of this word? Hmm. What's the meaning of absolute? Try to search it, Google it. Try to guess the meaning from the context. Okay, obsolete, it means something which is damaged, okay? So what's the meaning of this, obsolete? Huh. Okay, obsolete means, who can tell us? Outdated, that's right. Volt, it means save, and to uh, why the stand, it means to resist or Uh, survive. Thank you guys. This is the end of our uh, session today. See you tomorrow, inshallah. Thank you a lot. You have been great as usual. Thank you and goodbye. Uh, don't forget to uh, go to Classera, do your homework and do your quiz. And your homework uh, in the workbook is page 26. Thank you a lot. See you tomorrow.